Young people around the world are taking the future into their own hands. Changemakers are shaping the sexual and reproductive rights agenda at the Nairobi summit on ICPD 25. And this is the time of our lives where we get curious about our sexuality, about what relationship means, what sex means, and we need to have the right information in our hands for us to be able to make the right choices. So young people here in Nairobi are not asking for more. We are asking for our basic rights, for our basic freedoms. Young advocates are reminding global leaders that they have agency of their bodies and their voices must be heard. Every young person, regardless of their status, regardless of their geographical location, should have access to the information and if necessary or if the need be, there should be access to services and it should be accessible because some are living in places where they can't even access services when they are supposed to. But many young people and vulnerable groups are still left behind. One person facing injustice is injustice for everybody. My hope is that queer young people will not be sidelined anymore, will not be the too sensitive issue, the too political issue to be addressed. We are our identities and our existence is not up for debate. Our bodies are ours, our lives are no less worthy. Through new partnerships and advocacy on the global stage, this generation is vocal, active and engaged.